I'm Dr. Parson Mohibi, a hair transplant surgeon from Los Angeles. We're going to talk about Rogaine or Minoxidil for men. Minoxidil or Rogaine is a medication that has been in the market for a long time. Um, initially, Minoxidil has been a high blood pressure medication. So um, it was used to lower blood pressure. And the doctors who were treating, uh, treating patients realized that some of these patients are growing hair. And they started focusing on that and using it for hair loss uh, treatment and uh, then they made it into a formulation as a topical called Rogaine and put it in a scalp to minimize the miniaturization and improve the male pattern hair loss. So uh, medication has been in the market for many years um, and it has its own uh, group of candidates. Um, many people could respond to Rogaine. Some people may have better options. Uh, so if you want to break it down, uh, men with the typical male pattern baldness could use uh, DHT blockers or phenostride. That is probably the most effective line of uh, treatment for this group of patients. Um, but if you have uh, sexual side effects or any other side effects with phenostride, you can use uh, Rogaine topical uh, minoxidil as the next option. It can also uh, be used for uh, the conditions that you have hair transplant and after hair transplant, you wanna minimize shock loss. So the hair loss that could be experienced after hair transplant could be minimized with Rogaine. So Rogaine uh, should be used topically. Uh, it comes in 2% and 5% uh, solution and foam. Um, and uh, the best use of it is to be used twice a day. Uh, however, if you cannot use twice a day, once a day may not be bad either. People who use Rogaine initially within the first few weeks, they may have excess shedding because uh, it seems like it's increasing the turnover of cells. So you may feel like the existing hair sheds more before you can start growing new hair. Uh, so don't be alarmed, let it go. Continue with uh, minoxidil or Rogaine uh, through that phase. But after that, you start seeing the new hair starts becoming thicker and thicker. So basically, if you have a lot of miniaturized hair, a lot of baby hair that's going through hair loss, with Rogaine, you can minimize that and you can make some of them thicker. By doing that, Overall, you see more visible hair on the scalp and the volume of hair will get better. You have to use medication for at least six months to see any visible improvement. So if you're using it for only a couple of uh, weeks or a couple of months, you may not see the full result of it. And uh, be aware of the fact that Rogaine has this condition called catch-up hair loss. So if you improve your hair because of Rogaine, when you stop it, uh, you may lose hair a little bit faster so it can actually catch up to where you were supposed to be. So as long as you use Rogaine, you're good, but if you stop it, you may lose the effect of it or most of the effect of it that has been uh, gained. Uh, side effects of uh, minoxidil or Rogaine are uh, usually limited to skin. Uh, the major side effect of it is irritation of the skin, redness, itchiness. Uh, if you get those, you can stop the medication and everything should go back to normal within a few days. Um, the other side effects could be systemic. If you use Rogaine on a big surface area of the scalp, it gets absorbed to your body and you may get systemic side effects of it by lowering your blood pressure and having orthostatic hypotension. Orthostatic hypotension is when you get up from a sitting position, you get lightheaded. And that's very common in people who use Rogaine in a big surface areas. Also, like any other medication, it could have an allergic reaction. By stopping it, uh, the allergic reaction should be gone too. I hope you learned from this video about Rogaine and its effect for men. Thank you for watching.